start by asking students to code a very simple animation of a lion running into a rock. However, students are given specific code blocks they must use to create the animation. Like a puzzle, they must fit them together correctly. Explain the solution, and then ask them to pull apart their program and delete certain code blocks, and to add others. Students are challenged to use a different methodology to create the same program. They learn that there is often more than one way to code a task. Next, they are shown a balloon program where they can pop the balloon with their mouse. This time, they aren't given any code blocks. They attack the program with a clean slate. If they get stuck, they can receive a hint. These hints give clues to help them get going with the program, but don't actually give them exact step-by-step -step directions. We want to challenge them to problem solve as much as possible on their own. Ultimately, they receive a solution for the program, but this isn't necessarily the only way they can create it. If one of your students comes up with a different way, definitely share it with the rest of the class. The rest of the activities follow this same format, with the students being challenged to create a program, given hints if necessary, and then finally being shown a possible solution. They'll be asked to create a program that can roll dice for them. They'll be asked to make a maze program. They'll be asked to make a number guessing game where the sprite gives them hints. They'll be asked to make a grocery list program where the user can use the add and delete buttons to modify their list. Where needed, students are given a link to a starter project so that they don't have to actually create things like this add and delete button on their own. And even for the maze project, they're given the maze background. That way the focus stays on the actual programming and not the creation of sprites and backgrounds. Also, please note that these activities presuppose a basic knowledge of coding. This is not for a beginner, but for a student who has already some foundational knowledge. I also have lessons available.